Hello YouTube friends and welcome to Sew Aldo. On today's sewing projects for beginner, I am going to show you how to make this Love Shack Fancy inspired dress. So if you want to see how, keep on watching. First thing we need to do is get the measurement. So I'm going to measure my bust just like this and then multiply it by 2 and that is how much fabric you will need. For if your hips are wider, simply measure it like this and you will multiply it by 2 and that is how much fabric you will need. For me, my body is pretty straight so I'm just going to use my bust measurement. For the neckline, I'm simply going to place the measuring tape like above my bra line and then I'm going to measure it down. So the length of the dress or top that you want to do is totally up to you. So I decided to do 33 inches. Now that I have my measurements ready, I am simply going to cut out the fabric. So it's very easy. I am simply just going to cut a rectangular fabric that is the width of my bust then multiply it by 2 so my desired length which is 33 I will add 10 inches long strip of fabric for the ruffled hem later on so it's going to make it longer full detail is totally optional after I cut out the fabric, I am simply going to cut out half of the armhole or arm side so it's going to be three and a half inches on the top, then three inches in on the side seam. By the way, you guys, thanks so much for supporting my channel. I really appreciate all of you who watches my videos and my fashion videos. I want to say thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Then I am going to use this piece that I cut out as my template for the other armhole or arm side. Now it's time to cut out the sleeves so I measured 19 inches long and this is approximately 25 inches wide of fabric and I'm cutting two pieces. So the reason why it's so big is because I want to achieve a voluminous sleeves that is like so fluffy and romantic so yeah. By the way, I got this fabric off of eBay. I think I got it like at the beginning of lockdown so that was around March when all the fabric stores and arts and craft stores are closed so I ended up buying it on eBay. As you can see the print is unusual for my choice because I usually go for floral prints but I kind of settled on this fabric because I was like panic buying because I ran out of fabrics and I was just desperate to get a fabric on hand just in case I need to sew something. As it turns out, I didn't need to do panic buying of fabric because obviously it's August now and I just used this fabric. So, oh well. So here I am going to use the same template that I use for the bodice or for the dress panels as my template for the arm side of the sleeves as well. So yeah, I just test it out and it actually worked with some minor adjustment at the at the end. After that, I am going to hem the front neckline and back neckline of the dress. So I'm simply going to fold it twice and then sew it from here all the way to the other end. Measured my bust area starting from the neckline. I traced or I measured down nine inches, and that is going to be the sheared part. So I will be doing 23 centimeters, and I'm going to mark it so I'm going to have 23 lines to trace so I can follow that when I am shearing the fabric. 
that is much easier. I suggest you do this so your sheared stitch are straight. It is time consuming but it is worth it. I will repeat the same step on the back panel as well. I have a full tutorial on how to successfully attempt a sheared sewing project. It's very easy, you're just going to drop it in the bobbin or going to treat it like a regular bobbin thread. But instead of going all the way, simply going to thread it through one, two, not the third one, okay? And then you're going to put the thread on the side and you are going to lift up the needle so you can pick up the bobbin or the elastic thread. Now I am going to start shearing. Yay! I love it. I am super excited that I finally figure out how to shear stitch properly. I mentioned earlier, I have a full tutorial on how to successfully do a sheared stitch. So if you want to watch that, I am going to have the link up here or in the description box below. If you notice, I am not cutting off the elastic. I simply pivot the fabric and then start over once I reach the end. Once you run out of elastic thread, you are simply going to tie a knot so it doesn't unravel and you are just going to start where you left off. This sewing project is super easy for beginners just because there is no pattern needed. So this is a nice project if you are learning how to sew a dress or a top. You won't have to go through all that pattern drafting. This is super easy. You only need four pieces of material. So two panels for the dress and two panels for the sleeves. I would say that shearing is very time consuming just because you are sewing back and forth and back and forth. So it took me hours to do this, by the way. I had to load the bobbin four times. You can just imagine how time consuming is that. After I finished the front and back panels, it's time to match the side seams. So I'm just going to pin it and then sew it from here all the way down to the hemline. Carefully sew the side seams, especially where the thick elastic threads are. Sometimes it can get caught underneath, so you just have to pull the fabric. It's time to work on the sleeve. I simply fold the hemline about one inch and then I'm going to fold it one more time. The reason why is the fabric is so lightweight and I want the hem to be stable and not super flimsy. And I am going to shear it so it will have that ruffly effect that I really like. You can do two rows, but I decided to do just one. Either way, it will look good and frilly. To make it tighter, I simply just pull the elastic thread and gather it a little bit. And then I measured my arm just so I can see if it's the right tightness. You don't want it too tight and you don't want it too loose because you want it to be able to grab onto your arm so it will stay poofy and frilly. And then I am going to sew the inseams. I will repeat the same steps on the other sleeve, obviously. It's time to join the sleeve on the dress. So I fold it like this, the side seam at the center, and then I put in the sleeve. Right sides of the fabrics are facing each other. So I basically match the arm side of the sleeve and the dress. 
by the way if you are still watching the tutorial thanks so much for staying with me i appreciate you so much Then I'm going to sew it doing a one half inch seam allowance. And I'm also doing it ever so carefully just because of the thick elastic threads. I mentioned earlier that I am going to adjust the sleeves. There's actually about two inches um extra fabric and i'm just going to simply trim that off from here all the way to the top of the shoulder i kind of cut it on an angle instead of straight opinion having extra fabric is way better than not enough fabrics After that I am going to hem the shoulders by double folding it and then I am going to shear stitch it to make the shoulders snug. decided to add ruffles on the bottom of the dress so I cut out about 10 inches long strip of fabric it is twice the width of the fabric or the dress i'm going to join the side seam so i will have a long strip of fabric then i am going to hem it that I am going to close the side seam of the ruffle so I will have a tube. After that I am going to sew a base stitch on the top edge of the fabric. I will do two rows of basting stitch so I can gather the fabric. Now I am carefully gathering the ruffles and I am matching the width of the dress. Once they are approximately the same width, I am going to pin the ruffle on the top or on the right side of the fabric. I simply match the side seam first and I'm going to pin it on top of the fabric and I'm going to top stitch it. This is a little time consuming but I really like that little ruffle that is on the outside of the fabric. And here I am carefully sewing it and making sure that the gathers are not moving. From time to time I will adjust the gathers because you want it to be evenly distributed so it looks nicer. After this, all what's left to do is finish the hemline and the dress is finished. I really love how this sewing project for beginners turned out. This is perfect, no sewing pattern needed. And look, the dress is so romantic and it's so flowy. I absolutely love it. I love, love, love the sleeves so much. My husband actually said I look so fancy. Oh my gosh. Totally a uh, love shack fancy inspired dress that is super easy to make and it will not break the bank thanks so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this sewing project for beginner tutorial be in the know subscribe to sew aldo i will see you next time bye